Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, here to hopefully we are bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the FV-101 Scorpion. The FV-101 Scorpion is a British armored reconnaissance vehicle. It was the lead vehicle and fire support type in the combat vehicle reconnaissance tracked CVRT family of seven armored vehicles. Manufactured by Alvis, it was introduced into service with the British Army in 1973 and was withdrawn in 1994. More than 3,000 were produced and used as a reconnaissance vehicle or light tank. It currently holds the Guinness World Record for the fastest production tank recorded going 82.23 km per hour or 51.1 miles per hour at the Quinty Q vehicle test track in Chertsey, Surrey on 26th of January in 2002. So overall, a really interesting vehicle. Uh, super small little reconnaissance light tank. We've done a uh, similar one before with the FE-103, if I remember correctly, uh, which is more of an armored, car armored personnel carrier uh, variant. But yeah, this is a really cool vehicle, um, basically designed as a fire support, so kind of similar to a role like an LEV or something of that sort, where it has a small caliber, you know, auto cannon on it, but is basically just used to give a little bit more support to troops on the ground. Um, I think the build itself came out really nice and is a... You know, really clean looking design and overall super cool. Um, so before we go and take a look at the vehicle, I want to go give special thanks to Patreon supporter um, Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel where you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is in down in the description of all my videos where you can go and um, pledge a small amount to the channel. Uh, and basically support my work and all that and earn a viewer request of your choice uh, depending on which tier you go ahead and subscribe to um, So definitely feel free to check that out again links in the description and it's always much appreciated So again big thanks to Brick Bros 2016 um, Anyways going ahead and diving into the vehicle and taking a look at it. We have uh, obviously the vehicle itself So it has the front headlights um, Obviously like that same body style as similar to the FE-103 as you can see over there. Uh, moving back we have again little various details on it um, here and there the siding, these little boxes and stuff. Um, this version here is the I believe the 30 millimeter or 20 millimeter one of those two uh, gun. There is also a 90 millimeter version but this is um, strictly the um, small auto cannon version. Uh, going ahead and moving to the sides here, we have the boxes, obviously the sides, tracks, all that same kind of chassis as we used for that vehicle over there. Um, all the detail around the turret, top up here, the hatcher, the hatches for the uh, gunner, or the uh, loader and commander. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the tank. I think it came out really cool. It's a nice, simple little uh, reconnaissance uh, vehicle and, you know, fun little build, that's for sure. So anyways, that's it for this overview. Let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. All right, guys, going ahead and move into our first layer. Be going ahead and starting off with layer number one. For layer one to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down an Arabic slab like this, followed by an Arabic top slab coming off of it. Going back from it, we're going to place down a green terracotta block, dark oak wood button on the side here, and an item frame, and in the item frame, a green terracotta block like so. We're going to go and then place down two dark oak wood stairs like this, back to back, after the green terracotta block, followed by another green terracotta block, dark oak wood button, and a item frame green terracotta block, so same thing before. Another two dark oak wood stairs like this going back, another green terracotta block, Stone or a button on the side here, green terracotta block in it like that. And then from that, we're going to place down an Arabic slab back and an Arabic top slab like that for the tracks there. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak with trap doors going off this Arabic slab. We're going to place down one, two, and three slabs over. And then going back from here, we're going to place down three uh, dark oak with top slabs coming off those three wooden trap doors. Um, on the back here, we're going to go ahead and go to this Arabic slab here. And going over, we're going to place down three dark oak with top slabs like that. From that point here, we're going to go ahead and basically fill the space in between these dark oak wood top slabs like this across the bottom here to create the base here of the vehicle. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and then place down an air brick slab followed by a top slab coming off of it, green terracotta block back, and two dark oak wood stairs, an air green terracotta block, two dark oak wood stairs, green terracotta block, an air brick slab, and an air brick top slab. So just like we did on the air side, and then we want to go and place down dark oak wood buttons here on the sides, and item frames on the side of these blocks and green terracotta in the item frames like that for those wheels. Um, once that's all done there, that is going to uh, wrap up the first layer, layer number one. And with that, we can move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a 
uh, another brick stair. And we're gonna place down another brick stair on top of those top slabs like so. Across in between these um, stairs, we're gonna go ahead and take our dark oak wood and we're gonna place down a row of one, two, and three of dark oak wood stairs across. We then wanna go ahead and go to the front and sides of these narrow brick stairs and we're gonna go ahead and place down dark oak wood trapdoors on the sides of those stairs wrapped around like that for basically would be the fenders. And then coming off the dark oak wood stairs here to both ends, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull like so. After that's done, we're gonna take our green terracotta, we're gonna place down a row of five across, dark oak wood button on both sides, a item frame, and then in the item frame we want to go and place down a cobweb, so just like this for the sprocket wheels, and same thing like that. After that's done, we're going to go and place down another brick top slab back, followed by a second top slab, and same thing over here, two top slabs back, and a row of three green terracotta going across in between those top slabs. On the first top slab here, we're going to place down a dark liquid trap door, and then the second one, we're going to be placing down a dark liquid sign. So just like that going back, and then over here on this side, same thing, dark oak wood trap door, dark oak wood sign. From this point, we're going to take a narrow brick slabs, we're going to place down one, two, and three, narrow brick slabs back, and same thing over here, one, two, and three. We then want to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down uh, basically these rows of three, going across here like that. From that point there, we're going to place down a narrow set of two rows of three of green terracotta going across, and then we want to place down two narrow brick top slabs on both sides like that. At this point here, we're going to go and place down a narrow row of three green terracotta across the middle, dark oak with top slab to both sides, and then coming off the side of the top slab, an item frame with a green terracotta block in the item frame. Same thing over here. On the very back here, we're going to place down a narrow brick stair here on both sides, followed by a row of three mossy cobbles walls across between those stairs, a trapdoor coming off the front of the stairs, and then we want to go and grab ourselves skeleton skulls again, and we're going to place down a skeleton skull coming off these mossy cobbles walls on both sides like that. After that's all finished there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number two. With that, let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on top of this narrow brick stair here to both sides. We then want to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block right next to those slabs there on both sides like that to go ahead and start the formation of our headlights here. And then coming off those blocks, we're going to place down a um, item frame and a snowball in the item frames like so. From there, we're going to go ahead and also place down a dark oak wood trap door across, in between those green terracotta blocks. After that, we're going to take our narrow brick slabs. We're going to place down one and two narrow brick slabs across the back here, followed by a dark oak wood slab. And then to both sides here, we're going to go ahead and place down a daylight detector like that on the sides. And also close your trap doors if they do decide to open. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate that is going to be opened up toward the uh, daylight detector, so just like that on both sides. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood slab over here on the will be the left side of the vehicle, so this side over here. We're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood stair next to it, and then we want to go and take our dark oak wood slabs and just place down one, two, and three to the side. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair like this to the side, followed by a green terracotta block directly behind it. We're going to place down a narrow dark oak stair coming off the green terracotta block. And then we're going to place down one and two stairs to the side. So corner stair and then you have the two stairs out to the side. Um, after that, we're going to take our dark oak signs and we're going to place down dark oak signs on the side of the slab and also the front of the stair. And same thing over here as well. With uh, that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of one and two across. Black concrete block like that to the side there and a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. After that's done, uh, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall again on both sides. Uh, once that's done, uh, we want to go and place down a row of one, two, and three spruce wood slabs back, and same thing over here, one, two, and three. And then the space in between those spruce wood slabs, we can just go and fill them with green terracotta, like that. And then on the sides, we just want to go ahead and place down a trip bar hook on both ends like this, followed by a spruce wood sign on the middle block. So same thing over here as well, just like that. Once that's done, uh, we're going to take our green terracotta and we're going to place down a narrow row of three across, like so, followed by a dark oak wood stair on both sides, and coming off this stair, we're going to have a corner stair like that going back. Space across in between these stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of spruce wood planks, and then we want to go ahead and also place down a narrow row of three of spruce wood stairs this time. And then come off the faces of these spruce wood stairs, we're going to place down a row three of spruce wood signs. And once you have that all done, that is going to wrap up what we have here for this 
um, there. So uh, this is what she'll take from up above. And that right there will conclude layer number three. With that, let's move into layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a Wither Skeleton Skull on top of these two uh, Dark Oak Wood uh, fence gates here to both sides. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back to this space right here. And we want to go ahead and place down a Dark Oak Wood Upside Down Stair on top of this green terracotta block, followed by a Dark Oak Wood Upside Down Corner Stair coming off both sides of it. And behind these blocks, we can just go ahead and take our green terracotta and we can just place down a, uh, we're actually going to go ahead and place down a uh, green terracotta block in the middle there, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair to both sides of it. Now going ahead and working toward the front here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab coming off this corner stair here on the right side. On the face of the slab, we're going to place down a item frame, in the item frame a green terracotta block, and then we're going to go and take signs, and we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign on uh, these two sides of this dark oak wood top slab. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate, and coming off the middle stair here, we're going to place down a fence gate, followed by one and two end rods, and then a wither skeleton skull on the end there. And then on this corner stair here, over on the left side of the turret, we're going to place down an item frame, and then we want to place down a black concrete block in the item frame. With that all finished, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate on this top of this mossy cobblestone wall, open forward, and same thing over here on this side as well. And on top of the, or actually we're going to leave those fence gates as are for right now. Um, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater, a spruce wood trap door, and we're also going to need a zombie head. We're going to place down a zombie head on top of the stair, a spruce wood trap door, and then a redstone repeater like this to go ahead and form the hatch here for the driver. After that's done, go ahead and move it back to our turret here. We're going to go and take our green terracotta and replace down a row of three across. From this point, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves spruce wood stairs and place down a spruce wood upside down stair on both ends and around the uh, two sides here of the stair we're going to place down two spruce wood signs same thing over here just like that once that's done we're going to place down a, another row of three of green terracotta across here followed by another spruce wood upside down stair and some spruce wood signs coming off the faces here of these stairs so just like that after that's all done we're going to go and take our dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair like this, followed by an upside down corner stair to both sides of that stair. We're going to go to both sides, place down a zombie head coming off the side of those corner stairs. And then going back uh, to this point here, we're going to go and place down a row of three of spruce wood upside down stairs. Ones on the sides here should be corner stairs. And we want to go and then place down spruce wood signs around these upside down spruce wood stairs. So just like that. And also on the back here from the previous layer, what I forgot to include was actually the brake lights. So we're going to go ahead and add those on real quick. Now for these, we're just going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames, a dark oak wood sign, and also a red stained glass block. So like this, we're going to go, ahead and go ahead and go to these corner stairs, place down an item frame, red stained glass block, and a dark oak wood sign on that stair. And same thing over here as well, just like that. After that's done, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number four. With that, let's move into our final set of layers, layers five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to put the top of the turret on, the radio antennas, and basically finish the build off. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. All right, guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers five through eight. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and go to this dark oak wood upstairs stair here, and place down a dark oak wood stair coming off of it, like so. On the back of the stair, we're going to place down an item frame, and in the item frame, we're going to place down a black bed turned sideways like so. After that, uh, we're going to place down a daylight detector going to the, in the middle here next to it, and then a green terracotta block over here to will be the left side. We're going to place down an item frame coming off the green terracotta block and a black stained glass block in it like that for the optics there. We also want to go and place down a wither skeleton skull on top of these uh, dark oak fence gates here for the smoke grenade dispensers. So just like that on both sides there. From this point here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some green carpet, and on top of these two uh, blocks here, we're going to place down green carpet, and also this one here to the side. And in the middle space, we're just going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood trap door, like so, and have it closed like that. For that point there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall back like this, followed by a spruce wood plank to both sides. From there, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on the side of this spruce wood plank, and or spruce wood slab, and one also going back like so. In this corner space here, we're also going to place down a zombie head at a 45 degree angle like so. 
In this space right here, we also want to place down a zombie head. So uh, we're going to go ahead and maybe place it down in this space right here. So at a 45 degree angle. So just like that. After that's done, uh, we're going to go, ahead and go over from the stair. One and two. Slabs over. And then just on top of these two spruce wood ups downstairs, we're just going to place down two spruce wood trap doors like that. Uh, once that's done, on the back here, we're going to place down a row of three of daylight sensors, followed by a row of three of spruce wood trap doors and make sure they're closed. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame, and we're going to go ahead and place down an item frame on the side of the stair with a black concrete block in it. And we want to go ahead and also place down a darker wood sign coming off the side of that stair like so to create this little um, optics there on the side. And lastly, uh, before we get into the antennas, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark wood button and place it down on top of this uh, green terracotta block. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and now move into our radio antennas. For this real simple, on top of the zombie heads, we're going to place down a dark wood defense gate, and then one, two, and three iron bars up, and one, two, and three. So it's like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design for the FV-101 Scorpion uh, armored... Uh, fire support vehicle. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using it, I do want to say you guys give me proper credit for it. This main thing from a sign the bill between my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that. Um, again, big special thanks to Patreon supporter BrickBros2016 for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204 and I'll see you guys next time.